Uh, congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations, Mike and Tim. And uh, I'd like to just invite you now to, to come forward and say a few words. Thank you very much. Um, deeply honored. Um, appreciate it very, very much. But first, I'd like to talk about Al Roach's gut. <laughs> look at the picture of the gut over there. And look at it now. I think it's down maybe. 15 or 20 pounds. Usually when we're shooting the show, we like to keep it around 207, was it, Pat? 215 is nice. <laughs> it's a beautiful gut, and I, it's a shame to see it go, really. <laughs> no, it really is. Anyway, uh, I've been asked to keep this brief, and uh, I'll try. Uh, first, I'd like to thank some people um, at the, the Halifax Telefilm office. Um, who have uh, been instrumental in my career. Uh, of course, Laurie McCurdy, Gord Whitaker, and uh, Ralph Holt, when Ralph was here. But I first saw Ralph, someone pointed him out at a film festival, and I was like, is he a movie star? Or, <laughs> what is that guy? Uh, so, and also, I almost ended my career yesterday um, at the, uh, the outreach, the telefilm outreach meeting, when it was really hot in the room, it was about 50 people. <laughs> I tried to, let's just open the curtain. Open the curtain, and a fucking pipe this big <laughs> fell down and almost hit Gordon Whitaker in the head. <laughs> I almost killed him. <laughs> but I think I kind of saved your life. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I kind of saved your life. Hopefully that's reflected in future applications. <laughs> but uh, the folks in Halifax have always been very open, uh, approachable, and... Um, uh, positive and uh, very inspiring to me. Um, I'd like to start by just thanking um, the Halifax Police Department. They have helped us so much make this show. Even though we've done scenes where there's no dope in town and we've gone to them to buy dope. <laughs> but they've been great, you know, closing down streets and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, and much appreciated. And it's, I'm not sucking up to them in the event that I'm caught with some contraband of some sort, or <laughs> parking tickets and all that stuff. Um, but, so I, I'd like to, uh, there's all kinds of people, of course, that we could thank for Trailer Park Boys, and, and um, I'd like to take this time to um, be very specific and thank some people that really don't get thanks on the show. Um, it's, it's the crew of Trailer Park Boys that have been with us for um, 10 years, and I'd like to just think out some people who, um, who kind of don't really work for the paycheck, um, but work for, because they're inspired and they have a great time doing it. And uh, now's the time. I want to thank them so that it'll resonate. I have a few names here for you. First is uh, Karen Wenzel, who has uh, been a line producer and producer in the show and worked very, very hard. Uh, Ted McGinnis, uh, I don't know if you know Ted, um, one of the most handsome men in the world. And um, he, he uh, Ted started as a camera assistant and eventually became uh, DP on the show. And uh, there were a lot of people who moved up the ranks on, uh, on Trailer Park Boys. Um, uh, Darcy Fraser, uh, camera assistant, always in there, always focused, always on it. He's a focus puller. One of the most intense jobs in the biz, right? You know, they're most connected with the actors, too, as they're feeling every moment, every movement, right? With Mr. Leahy drunk. He's wandering around in his underwear. <laughs> Yeah, he's like standing there in his underwear drinking Jack Daniels, and Darcy's like the most intense, focused person. Um, I'd like to thank Randy Bolivar, a stunt coordinator here in town, who I really think has uh, uh, really developed into uh, a really uh, sharp cat uh, with stunts over, over the last few years. And uh, one of the things we had to do on Liquor Day was have John Dunsworth um, on uh, the Merrill building in his underwear on the edge of the building. And it was like, I don't know how we're going to do that safely. And Randy devised these underwear that had these two cables that came out like this, right? Remember that? I'm sure you do. You, you were wearing them. Well, I, tried them. I tried them on too. And he had to come to the edge of the thing like this, and you couldn't see them. Uh, it was an ingenious invention. And uh, anyway, Randy, uh, Preston Hudson, and Rob Cotterill. Uh, Preston has been a first uh, AD, and so has Rob Cotterill. And um, they've been fantastic and dedicated and pulled off some incredible uh, coordination downtown Dartmouth uh, with cars and men urinating and car accidents and 
uh, and it was very, very safe. Uh, one quick story, we were doing a test and showing the city how we would do it and our lockup to traffic and um, someone breached the traffic uh, lockup and just said, I don't give a fuck what you guys are doing, I'm going, right? And they d drove into about five vehicles flying at them. And um, they managed to shut it down with walkie talks in a matter of seconds and no accident. Anyway, just uh, a game, very, very safe, good cats. Anne Marie Cassidy, who uh, designed the look of, of uh, Ricky Julian and Bubbles, um, she painstakingly designed the chops on Ricky and his pompadour, and um, the black hair with Julian. It's great. Um, Polly Mack, transport coordinator. Ian McLeod, who's been in the story department of Trail Park Boys for many, many years, worked tirelessly. Um, uh, in terms of in terms of editing, uh, Jeremy Hardy and Sarah Byrne uh, and Rebecca Sherrett at uh, Digi Boys, they worked hard. Uh, Georgina Brown and Graham Hopkins in our office, they work hard. Mike Tompkins, photographer. Uh, Nick Bevanjohn, the grip. Um, you know, working so hard, his sneakers fall apart, and you know, he just keeps going. Mike O'Neill and Xander Rosborough on sound. One of the things with the lo-fi look of Trailer Park Boys was really hi-fi sound. And a lot of people wouldn't really notice it. I mean, if something sounds bad, it obviously is, is, you can't follow it, it's terrible. We always put much more effort into the sound of Trailer Park Boys. And if you ever watch it sometimes, listen to it. It's amazing where you have four or five different people talking, in, uh, improvising and jumping around, and you hear everybody very present. And that's uh, mostly because of Mike O'Neill. Uh, Blaine Morris, who wrote the theme of Trailer Park Boys, um, he's worked uh, tirelessly on the show. Uh, Jared Murphy, uh, early in the season, uh, he's a rock dude, um, like many people on the show, and he was a boom operator. Adam Liley did some camera work. Um, uh, Megan Malay, who did much uh, third AD, worked hard. Sean Clark, uh, locations. Um, those are just some people I wanted to just to sing, uh, single out because, like I say, um, uh, they don't normally uh, get the thanks. Um, and to, to wrap up, um, uh, Max and Dave, um, trailer park fans who have driven here from Ottawa, right? <laughs> Thank you very much, because I consider this award from you too, and, and, and Canadian uh, trailer park fans. And uh, because of telefilm, people are seeing this film all around the world. I've seen trailer park boys all around the world, and on Twitter, I hear from people from Tasmania, uh, England just this morning. Uh, sending me little quotes from the show. Uh, it's just, it's really touching to see how many people um, uh, watch Trailer Park Boys. It's unbelievable. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. And um, I'd also like to thank, quickly, um, Alliance Atlantis for doing a wide release of a Canadian film, right, which is, um, doesn't happen so often. And uh, when Canadian films are in, a, in many theaters, people show up and the box office goes up. So anyway, thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you very much, Mike. Um, and this concludes this morning's ceremony. Thanks again to Don MacGyver and the crew here at Bones Body and Fender for allowing us to uh, hold this uh, special event here. And I just remind that all our guests um, are now available for interviews and individual photos. So please stick around and get what you need. And thanks again for coming. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.